Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave with Dina Rico. I am so excited today. I am going to show you a really cool technique for using your dies as stencils. <laughs> and this is such a fun technique and you can do it with so many different dies that we have. Some dies are obviously a little bit better suited for this technique than others, but there are so many things you can do with it. So I want to show you the Seaside Wishes bundle. This is an extra special bundle because not only are there stamps and dies, there is also a hybrid embossing folder that goes with this. You can use this just as an embossing folder on its own, or you can actually use this to stamp the images and die cut the um, the different pieces on here. Let's see, it goes on this side. Um, so you can stamp and die cut these out. You can actually run this folder through your machine and it will cut out those three sand dollars with the embossing, which is really cool. And you can see we have two of the stamped images available in the stamp set. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do for my project. I'm going to start with a half a sheet of Lost Lagoon cardstock. And I'm going to give that a good crease. Um, I'm going to need some scraps of cardstock here to create this project because I need to make my stencils. So I actually just took three random scraps from my scrap drawer. You can see this is just um, three pieces. And I die cut the three little seaweed pieces that come in this set of dies. And I'm going to use these as stencils to create a cool little background on here. We've got this beautiful embossed uh, piece that we can use, but I also wanted to add a little bit more to it by adding some um, of these seaweed stencils into the background. So you want a little paper to protect your work surface. So I'm gonna set some grid paper in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a blending brush with my ink pads. I'm gonna use two colors, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. I'll start with Lost Lagoon because it's a little lighter color. And I actually want a fair amount of ink on here because when you are ink blending onto colored cardstock, you definitely need more ink than if you were to go on to say white cardstock. So there's my first little seaweed piece. There's another one. I'm going to kind of play with the different um, dies on here and I'm going to position these all over um, this piece of cardstock and I want some that are lighter, some that are darker. We'll also bring in our pretty peacock piece in here. So I'm just going to keep doing that and you start to build up kind of a fun little background. Let me bring in this smaller one, get some more ink and a little bit more here. You can flip them around because they're, they have different curves and whatnot. And then when you layer them, you'll get different effects also, which is kind of awesome. Actually, I want that one to be a little darker. But when you go over them, um, you'll layer up those, those layers of color. Okay, let's bring in some darker ink. I'm going to switch over to my pretty peacock. Um, we're also going to do another really cool stenciling on the inside of our card, which is going to be different from what we're doing on the outside, which is kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to throw one right there. And I love the different colors that you get with um, the different vibrancies of the ink that you're using. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So there's our background. You can see the reason I have the bigger pieces is so that we don't get um, lines through our cardstock. I'm gonna add my sentiment, and this is right in our stamp set. It says, sometimes the simplest things mean the most. So I'll go ahead and stamp that here in the corner. 
like that and I used Pretty Peacock ink for this. Now this piece of cardstock that I started with is going to be two and three quarters by three and seven eighths. Actually, let me double check that. <laughs> the ruler was on the wrong side. Okay, uh, three and seven eighths by two and three quarters. That is correct. Um, and then I'm going to adhere that to a four by three and seven eighths or two and seven eighths inch piece four by two and seven eighths final answer um so this is pretty peacock this is lost lagoon and we'll just adhere those two panels together like that oh so gorgeous then i have a three and seven eighths by four no wait <laughs> five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Goodness, there's too many dimensions here. Um, panel of um, basic beige, which is really a great ca uh, cardstock color. I love this new color that came out back in May. And it pairs so nicely with so many different colors. It's kind of funny. I wasn't sure what it would look good with, but it really seems to look good with a lot of different things. Okay, there we go. We've got that layer on a four by five and a quarter of our pretty peacock. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach that to my card base. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pop this panel up. And then as mentioned, we're gonna do a little stenciling on the inside, only this time we're gonna use a different die image for our stenciling. And we're also going to add some of these detailed sand dollars to the outside here, because our focal point isn't actually this um, kelp or seaweed. It's actually something else entirely okay that looks crooked to me <laughs> like that's not right there we go I think that's better okay um so I die cut a couple of these sand dollars that come they're detailed sand dollars that come in our set of dies and I'm just going to kind of position them on here like this so that you can see that seaweed in the background but they're kind of on top. You could even die cut a couple pieces of seaweed to place over these or in between them if you wanted. What am I thinking? I want a glue dot, not a dimensional. Um, it's up to you. Oops, that tore right off. There we go. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I, my finger stuck, my fingernail stuck to the um, glue dot and it did not stick to the die. But hopefully we can get it on there. All right. So I'm just going to position that. Oh, I want to make sure I can see it. Uh, see the um, seaweed coming through. <laughs> there we go. And... Here's this. Ah, that came off much better. <laughs> okay, I'm going to position that one. Maybe just tuck it behind a little bit and stick that right there. And then I want to use some um, pearls to decorate with uh, on my card. So this is the Adhesive Backed Pearl Trio. And these are gorgeous pearls. They... Um, coordinate well I think they coordinate lovely with several different colors um I'm not 100% sure what the official colors are but this is definitely like a lost lagoon um pe pretty peacock color but I think it also can translate to different greens then we also have like a berry burst or maybe sweet petunia or pardon me sweet petunia what am I thinking petunia pop and then this one is kind of a um Calypso coral, maybe even crossing over into like flirty flamingo or even poppy parade a little bit, pumpkin pie. So I love that these colors kind of definitely can cross over into different, um, different colors. 
is nice. Okay, so there's the front of my card. Now, I feel like this is just missing a little something, something, if you know what I mean. So to add to this, I'm going to take my Clear Wink Estella, and I'm going to spritz my card a little bit with that. And so I'm just going to smack it against my bone folder. Um, you can close your ink pads <laughs> or move them out of the way so you don't get any in them. And oh, Clear Wink Estella is just always the best. So I've got some kind of shimmery splatter all over. I'm going to open up my card base. And on the inside, I've got a panel of basic white cardstock, my standard four by five and a quarter, which we'll put in here. But I also have this strip of Lost Lagoon. I want to take and do a little... Um, stenciling with that as well. So I die cut uh, each of my little detailed stencils here and we're going to go ahead and stencil on this little strip. I like doing a strip versus just going on my cardstock because then you can kind of contain the design to a smaller portion of that panel whereas if you just did this loose on that four by five and a quarter white um, it's really hard to kind of contain the space of it. You know what I mean? So look at how cool that is. So I did that one with Lost Lagoon. Let's do this one with Pretty Peacock. And I'm just holding that stencil. I am going to go over the top of the previous design. So we'll layer those patterns. And how fun is that? I'm gonna come back again with my Lost Lagoon and bring that in for one last little bit on here. And I just think this looks super cool. Isn't that really neat? Okay, so let's take and add that to our panel of basic white. And finally, I have die cut one more of these. And by the way, you could use these as is, you know, with with the ink that you've blended on. I have one of each of these. I, pro I probably only need to use one, but I wasn't sure if I wanted the big one or the small one. I think I'll do the small one because it's the inside of my card and that will give me a little more room to write in. But oh, how pretty is this? I just love this. You could most certainly um, do this technique with additional stamps. Um, what I mean by that, using this set. So what I mean by that is I, um, I think doing the seaweed background with say the turtle from Sea Turtles would be super cool. That'd be a lot of fun to do or adding in some of the coral from the Beauty of the Deep um, stamp set and dies. I think there's just so many possibilities. I'm really into the seascape. I mean, it's summer, but then also take a look at different leaf dies that you have throughout stamps and dies that you probably have and look at some of those open or detailed dies. There's just so many different sets that you could really have fun with. So I'll list off a few different sets that I think would be great. Flowers of beauty, thoughtful wishes, um, Simply Zinnia. Let's see where we'll, there was one I was really thinking of. Oh, um, Magnolia Maven. Is that what? The, no, that's not the name of it. Magnolia Mood. Um, and if any Magnolia Mavens are watching, you're welcome. I you have I have you on my brain. Another set that has some cool designs that would be kind of fun to try this with are the Hot Air Balloon. Um, stamp set and coordinating dies. Of course, butterflies. We've got all kinds of butterflies that would be great with this. So there's so many possibilities with this technique. I hope you have fun. Give it a try. And all the supplies that I used on this project can be found on my blog. And there is a link in the description of this video. And one final shameless plug to remind you that Seaside Wishes is on sale through Sunday, June 30th for an extra 10% off along with all of our dye bundles. So make sure and take advantage of that awesome special. Thanks for stamping with me today, friends. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.